All right, this story makes me laugh. We all know scalpers have <laughs> been running amok. They've been bragging. They've been trying to act as if they are a charity act. In fact, the very group that said that they are basically doing God's work by providing food and paying bills for scalpers uh, by charging them fees to access tools, claiming they're not using bots. Well, some people who have leaked information claims they actually are using bots. It is what it is. This very scalper group just got screwed. So... This article is over there on Eurogamer by Emma Kent. Let's just take a reading of this because, man, is this glorious. I love, I love when a retailer sticks it back to scalpers. So, since the launch of both PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series XS, stories of scalping groups and extraordinary third-party prices have hit headlines, and it's often felt like little has been done to prevent the practice. But today's scalping story ends somewhat differently, as a group that boasted about securing 1,000 Xbox Series X orders has found them all canceled. The scalping group, the same one that claimed to have ordered 2,500 PlayStation 5s at launch, and I will note that's also the group that said they're doing charity work here, basically, uh, yesterday posted on social media that it had secured over 1,000 plus Xbox Series X consoles from a very well-known online retailer. The scalping group charges £29.99 monthly subscription or lifetime subscription membership for £399.99 uh, for its members to get information on how to carry out scalping themselves and reportedly uses bots to automatically find cheap prices and complete mass purchases, although they deny that. Uh, the group claimed to have notified its members of a restock at the retailer and urged its followers to buy a subscription for that information. The retailer in question, it seems, was very which normally limits console purchases to one per address. It seems likely the scalping group was able to find a way around this restriction, which they have found a way around these restrictions on all retailer websites. But unfortunately for the scalpers, the company has canceled all of the orders. <laughs> you imagine yes we successfully attained a thousand of these systems and <laughs> they're like ha ah, by the way those systems don't exist have a good day god i want more retailers to do this please all right I, it does suck for legit consumers too but man um as a result of a technical error some people were able to place orders for the playstation 5 and xbox series x console for a short time on sunday very told sky news however these items are not on sale <laughs> oh it's great and affected customers have received notice that the orders have been canceled we apologize for the confusion caused a couple of legitimate customers claim to have been swept up in the confusion but very has promised a refund for the majority of customers within 48 to 72 hours. According to Sky News, Very did not confirm whether it currently had next-gen consoles in stock. Even if the mass order was only possible due to a technical slip-up, it is quite amusing to see Scalper's group beaten at its own game, on this occasion at least. Retailers are often reluctant to discuss the issue of scalping, but you may remember that Curry's used its own unique brand anti-scalpy measures by temporarily increasing console prices to two thousand pounds and giving customers a two thousand pound voucher this was likely used as a way to allow legitimate customers to complete their purchase without the website being overrun by bots talk about a bot rescue mission i mean think about that a retailer is temporarily increasing the price of these systems to two thousand pounds and then later giving you a voucher so like you spend two thousand pounds on it absolutely but then they give you a voucher that gives you your money back and then you just pay you know the asking price for the system uh, it's obviously a way to deter you know things but knowing this scalpers could technically still take advantage of it but man this is great anytime you could stick it to scalpers is a good time i mean scalpers are the just just the they're getting to the point that we with these systems anyways, that we could just call them criminals. I mean, let's just look at the Xbox Series X on eBay right now. Xbox Series X. Okay, because this group, you know, was boasting about securing a 1,000 of them. I mean, look at this. 1,300, 1,200. Oop, this one just under a 1,000. Let's go to buy it now, though, because that's where you really see what, what, what the systems are going for. 
Um, let's see, your 1300, 1200. Oh, this one is still a sponsored post at 995. Um, 900. Ooh, another sponsored post. New listing for 900. So the price has come down a little bit. We've seen 800 here, assuming this is even a legit uh, posting because there's been a lot of fake uh, posts as well. Uh, and I'm guessing the fake ones are the ones that are undercutting the market. Um, 1500 for this little bundle. 1200, 900, 1300, 1250, 1200. Uh, <laughs> the list goes on and on and on. I mean, we already know it's really bad for PlayStation 5. I think the point that we're seeing here is that scalpers are just just scum. And I like that even though this was unintentional, that scalpers ended up getting screwed in the end. I mean, here I'm just glancing at the price of Series S's. Remember, this is a $300 system. People still want two, 300 bucks for it. I mean, people, you know, y y you think it's exclusive to next gen. I mean, just glance at the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch is being scalped right now. This this bundle here is selling for four eighty nine. Uh, here's a new sealed red box edition one, which is the only version they're selling, and it's selling for four hundred and seventy five. It's almost two hundred dollars over MSRP. Like it is insane right now. Things are being the Fortnite bundle that just came out. Jeez, of course that's being scalped to hell. I mean, at least the Nintendo Switch Lite's only forty bucks past. You know what it what it costs at retail? That's because people aren't that interested in the light. They want they want the full the full switch. And of course, for good measure, we'll just glance at PlayStation 5 because it's just a joke what's happening with PlayStation 5. But you know, it, we have to look. We have to look just for posterity's sake of the first listing to 1800. I It's to a point now where scalpers are basically thieves. I know in free markets like in the UK and the United States, it's not against the law what they're doing. All right, it's interesting because there there's been people during the pandemic that were like um, hoarding toilet paper, hoarding uh, <laughs> back when that was an issue. My guess remember the toilet paper issue, the great toilet paper issue of 2020. Um, there were people that just were, were hoarding supplies like like uh, hand sanitizer or N95 masks. Uh, and the government basically came along and said, nah, you can't do that. Like, you can't be doing that and selling it for 700% markup. Technically, it's not against the law for them to do what they were doing, but because it was a pandemic, the government stepped in. What sucks is it took a pandemic for the government to do something about those scalpers. What's it going to take for the government to do something about these people right here? These people right here, they're snatching up... I mean, look at this person. Five. He's got five PlayStation 5 consoles. All disc versions that he's trying to pedal off for almost two thousand dollars each this like shouldn't shouldn't happen shouldn't be possible but this is the reality that we live in people have multiples of this system you know three of them here trying to sell for 1700 each i mean look at this one this guy has got eight of them trying to move them for 1300 dollars each i mean look at this guy look how many he's got what is it got 12 two thousand he's trying to get it's insane, and I hope that these people, this person here with 12 systems, I hope this person doesn't sell a single one of them, not even for retail value. When the prices inevitably come down in six months and you're able to get this system at retail, I hope that none of these systems sell, and they are stuck with these 12 PlayStation 5s and unable to recoup any of their sunk costs for it. Because if you think about it, you know, that person spent a pretty penny to get all the systems. They spent six grand plus taxes and shipping in some cases to get those systems. I hope that they lose all six grand. Even if they keep one system for themselves, they lose all six grand and get nothing back. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm all for the free market, and I believe you absolutely have the right to resell your stuff, resell your games, resell your systems, resell whatever you need to sell to get by. I sold a bunch of stuff last year when I was in a hard financial time to get by, pay bills, put food on the table. I get it, and we're in a pandemic, so it's hard times, but this isn't about hard times, and don't believe this scalper group when they say it's about hard times. It's not about hard times. They would have been doing this anyways. This is about supply and demand, and PlayStation and Xbox are unable, Nintendo as well right now, to keep up with demand. So because of that, scalpers are using backdoor links that is not available to the public. They're using inside connections that, again, are not available to the public to know when restocks are going to hit and to get the orders in before the public has even a shot. There are retailers that, there, there are certain retailers where this group, and I know this because 
unfortunately, I know someone who's scalping a PlayStation 5 who used a similar group. These groups have backdoor links that show available stock before it shows the public the stock is available. So they can essentially sneak an order in before they even let the public in to order. That's how bad it is with scalping. And this happens in other fields. It gets ignored, you know, because we're, we're in the video game community. This happens a lot with sneakers. You know, every Air Jordan release, it happens. Th this is something that happens in a lot of different fields. Something needs to be done about it at some point. Retailers have tried their best to curb it. You know, only one, one system per address, only one system per email, only... Uh, you know, confirmed customers or like, you know, trying to put up, que you know, queues. Like there's been various queues at places, you know, to try to stem this. But then what's happened with the queues is that there's been secret links to get around those queues and get directly in and make an order in front of thousands and thousands of people that are waiting for their chance to buy one. So this is just the world we live in right now. It's a sad, pathetic world. Uh, and unfortunately, it doesn't seem that we can do much about it. But on a day such as today, we get to laugh a little bit because those 1,000 Xbox Series Xs that were bolstered by this hacking community, this, I shouldn't really call it a hacking community. Well, they're kind of a retailer hacking community, right? Like, boasted by this, ugh, this, this disgusting, this disgusting business. Lost all their orders. I hope they don't get refunded. I like most people are refunded in 48 to 70. I know they can't steal the money, but I almost don't want them to refund. That's, that's where I am right now with scalpers. All right, folks. I'm Nathaniel Robojans from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch you in the next video.